Keith the cop, uh, he's here. You got uh, someone for the homeless shopping spree? We want to get another news tease in here, but uh, tell us real fast who you got. Yeah, we have, uh, he's kind of like Bizarro Tippy Tom, this guy. Yeah? He's a guy I've been mistaken for Tippy Tom. Oh, really? Times when uh, I'm out there picking him up. He looks like him? Yeah, he gets pissed when you oh. call him Tippy Tom, too. Oh, he knows Tippy. Oh, he knows Tippy Tom. They, they go at it. So uh, I tried to get Tippy Tom today, too, but I think the homeless outreach was out there picking these guys up. It's pretty cold here in New York. What do they do? Take them to uh, shelters? Take them to shelters. They force them to go to shelters. Most of these yeah. guys don't even want to go to the shelters when it gets cold out. So Yeah, so I think they were one step ahead of me this morning wherever I was going because every, Curses. Place, I, every place I went. All right. Damn. Yeah. All right, all the details for the homeless shopping story next Bogart week. Bogart the homeless. Next week yeah. on the show. We'll tell you the mall. We'll tell you what we're doing. Usually, uh, well, last year we were only on XM and we still had... Close to a thousand people, I think it was, show up at the mall. This year, I can't even imagine the numbers. It could get a little crazy this year. Well, you know, because we encourage yeah. listeners to go to the mall as we do the homeless shopping spree, help out the homeless, help out the show, tell us what's going on, uh, videotape it, whatever you do. Where, where's it going to be? Uh, we're going to announce it next week. Okay. So we don't want them uh, pre planning out there. Sure. We usually surprise the mall at the last minute because right. they don't want us there. They don't want our listeners there. They don't want the homeless there. They just want their peaceful shopping. All and nothing snobbery. to disrupt that. Right. Want snobs to come in and spend a lot of money. What's wrong with the homeless coming in? Their money's just as good. What's just the, uh, smells what's a the, little. The cash bad. limit this year. I don't know. I don't it's know what a, they figured out. I think we're doing two hundred dollar American but here's, Express. No, oh. and you gave the luck, but let me tell you what happened. So each homeless guy gets two hundred dollars, but the listeners, it's unbelievable what they end up doing. Some of these guys will spend a thousand dollars on the homeless. Yeah, they'll like pick it, a guy and then just, just completely shop take with care him of and him. buy shoes for him and everything. Yeah. Um, Andrew, our buddy Andrew, he needs glasses. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm sure there's some kind of a vision center or one of those kind of places. Take him in there and uh, buy him some glasses. But I insist, a listeners, the listeners get to pick the frames <laughs> because <laughs> you're because. See, a lot of people think I'm the cruel bastard, man. This guy is I just brutal. love the fact that he'll be this able to see brutal. perfectly clear, but have the worst big, awful glasses really on big, his head. Really big frames that make him look like he's a frog. Yeah, something horrible. I earned these glasses. But uh, some advice to the listeners that are going to help out the homeless this year. Can you buy them stuff they could fit in pockets so they're not easy targets when we throw them back on the street? Because then we get the update. Because we all feel happy about ourselves that we did something for We're the homeless. We're so good. And they come back <laughs> from the mall with brand new coats and shoes, and they're all just styling some of these guys. And we get a report from Keith a, a few week days later. later. Oh yeah, the next uh, day, the uh, the guy we had last year, Jose. Remember the little Spanish guy with the beard? Yeah. The next day, he had all beat up clothes on again. He was missing his new sneakers. <laughs> Every, he, he was just a just mess. got yeah, rolled. How about a homeless home spree? Why don't you guys? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you dudes, man? They pull him apart like he's a cricket all of a sudden. They're like, I'll take that, I'll take that. So uh, the advice would be maybe stuff they could kind of hide a little bit better when they're back on the streets. All right, go get the homeless, dude. Let's do another news tease here. Uh, scary news teases. Uh, you know, hopefully you don't need the setup. We just think they're hilarious and we play them and goof on them. Here's the next one. Think you're safe when the ATM door locks behind you? Think again. The thing a thief could use to open it up, and you probably have one in your purse or wallet. Um. Yes, a behind you. It's, a, it's, a, it's probably a credit card. It's another. It's any credit card with a mag magnetic strip. No, uh, up with a magnetic strip or or the old school of uh, opening up mm. a door with a credit card. A popsicle stick when it's getting ready to close. <laughs> if I, yeah. How about a hold that door, please? Yeah, excuse me. I want to do some banking after I bash your head in. Hey, it's Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I think. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, all right. Yeah, at there us. is a tippy tom look. All right. Uh, hold on a minute. So. Oh, but. Let's get the answer to this, and then we'll move on to what's going on over there. Um, so, wait, you, and you're saying another credit card with a magnetic strip is all you need? Yeah, well, I know that um, in the past I have used, uh, like, a credit card or something that, you know, I, I don't use in the ATM machine. And it opens the with doors? a magnetic strip, yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. Who cares? Anything. Who cares, though? Who's stupid enough to, like, go into one of those, you know, ATMs late at night by themselves anyway? Aren't you mostly, like... Uh, a lot of people. Really? Yeah. With, with no one around? People are really stupid. No one around, yeah. only one in uh, one of those things. 
apparently some guy just got shot doing that. He was uh, uptown. Yeah. Uh, took some money out. Yeah. Walked out. Yeah. And uh, got shot and killed right huh. there. Took his money. All right. Is that what it is, Danny? Well, yeah, the obvious answer is going to be the credit card ATM cards because everybody has one. So, of course, you can get into any bank with that. Uh, but the one thing that they were pushing was driver's licenses, too, because they have a magnetic strip on them. And apparently anything with a magnetic strip will get you into a uh, I had no clue. I learned something new today. I'm going uh, I'm gonna to try that. It's easy yeah. just to walk in very close to them. Yeah. Hey, just follow someone yeah, in there. Just go right in. Or you sit there and, and wait until they finish getting their money out and uh, rob them. And you wait till they come out. Yeah. Right. We'll try so to get there's in. no cameras. We'll try to get one more scary news tease uh, on before we head over to XM. But uh, who's this guy again, Keith? What's his name? You. Hey, Tippy Tom. I'm not no fucking Tippy Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Keith was right. How about Greg Allman? <laughs> hey, uh, I'll just uh, I'll just dump that out. He had to. He had to keep it clean. But uh, I said, hey, uh, Tippy Tom, and the guy uh, cursed and said, I am not know. Hi, sir. What's your name? Big Red. Big what? Big Red. Oh, Big Red. Hey, Big Red. What's he's, going on, he's got bro? got some red hair there, so he's Big Red. There you go. All over my body. Mm. All right. And uh, Do you, Big Red uh, lives out on the street? Yep. Yeah? What happened? Where did... uh like to know a little background story. Where did it go wrong for you? What happened? Came to be an alcoholic. Ah, damn. Came to be an alcoholic, but not like functioning where you could go to work or something nope. like that. You just want to sit, drink, and, and like hang out, right? That's all I do. Yeah. When did you know you were an alcoholic? Ten years ago. How old are you, sir? Me? 36. No way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know it went wrong after you lost that match against Coco Beware in uh, WrestleMania 2. <laughs> Coco, Coco Beware. Coco stole his 2x4, uh, hit him in his stomach, <laughs> and did the bird dance. <laughs> so so what, did, what did you, like, lose because of uh, uh, of your drinking? Like, what, what point were you up to? You had a home? I had a home. Uh, what about family? I had a family. Wife and kids? Family? Yep. And then, like, what happened? You were, you were, you must have been drinking back then, but you were yeah. able to hold it together. Yeah, but then I just gave it up. You uh, gave it up. Did you have a job or a career or something? Yeah. What What'd you have? I'm doing mechanic work. Yep. You were doing mechanic work, yep. and then, like, what set you off to finally say, "That's it, I've had it." Liquor. I just started drinking more scotch. And oh, scotch. What is the what is the top bum juice that like the top liquor that creates bums? Like if you start drinking that, you shouldn't because it, it it automatically makes you a bum. Wine. 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 Uh oh, I'm in Dunkerberg trouble. Dunkerberg Port. So so like vodka doesn't make you a, a bum. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> like like is there a different kind? Con- yeah. When I leave here and he gets me back by Penn Station, I'm gonna buy me a bottle of uh, vodka. What? A vodka. Yeah. yeah. How do you get the money for the vodka? Eh, you know. A little panhandling. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, he's got some uh, bucks. Wow. Well, What's your uh? Is he side? He just got jobs the for people. Oh, what do you do? Whatever I could do. Yeah. To help people with two cases, whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah. You and know you. They toss you and all bucks. the cops in, in Penn Station know me. Yeah. And I don't bother nobody. You're a nice guy. You're not like. Uh, Ask him where he found me. You never, you never arrested him, Keith. Long Island Railroad. No, he's a he's a pretty good guy. He's Penn Station. We never had Penn Station guys before. This is a first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, aren't they a little rougher? The yeah, Penn, yeah. The we, Penn Station guys are a little rougher as far as the homeless. I know the homeless ball. guy. Yeah. A lot of people say you look like Tippy Tom, though. Well, you, got, you look like Tippy Tom. I think you suck dick. <laughs> 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 wow, well, they're he, dumping out. They, you really don't like when someone says you look. Like, you do look like him, though. You got to admit I that. Know, it doesn't mean you do what he does. What? It doesn't mean you do what he does, but you look like him. That's Not all. Me. No, no. Do that shit. And you know what? Let me tell you something. You might as well. You might as well just keep dumping him because this is passion. Oh, He's like, yeah. man. <laughs> well, Al's having a field day down uh, the hall. This guy. It's all right, Al. Uh, we understand you got to do your job. How do you? Uh, <laughs> how do you know, uh, uh, Tippy Tom? Like, because he used to hang around Penn Station. He used to hang around Penn, and then what? He got thrown out. 
He's not allowed around there. He's yeah, cause the that guy. Is don't do that. Dick in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so where do the, where do the sissy bums go? Hold on, hold on. Down 14th Street. 14 was where the sissy homeless guy. Uh, so the sissy bums are on 14th Street, <laughs> and you guys don't you don't uh, you don't stand for that sissy homeless crap at Penn no, Station, no, right? No, no, you yeah, ain't right. drinking out of my fucking beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's gonna be no dump left. Oh boy, Dude, Al sweating in the back room. It's okay. Yeah. Al. Let's see how much uh, we have left Someone before we ask any more of those questions. Yeah, so, we might uh, want to just stall. Do you, a bit. Do, you, do you get to um, do you get to see any of your family, or do you? No, I don't you, bother. With you them. don't bother with them. They don't bother with you. Why no, don't you bother with them? They don't know where I'm at. They, they don't know where I'm at. They don't know where you're at. Kids? What, what state? Uh, Jersey. We, Jersey. So you have kids. How old would you, would your kids be in now? You think? They're all married. Oh, they're all married. So they're you know older and uh, yeah. uh, you, you don't have any curiosity as to how their life's going. They don't care about you. Nope, I don't. I don't. They don't know where I'm at. I never let them know where I was. No, huh? Wait, they're married. Because you're yeah. only thirty six, right? Yeah. You had kids <laughs> young. I was thirty six. Huh? I wish I was thirty six again. I look like you, Tippy Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look like Tippy Tom, you freak. <laughs> well, he t you told him the same thing, so he's he just... looks more like Tippy Tom than I do. Yes, you do. All you gotta do is grow your fucking beard. <laughs> <laughs> maybe right, I'll grow a beard. Maybe and if... then I'll bring him up here. Maybe right. if Tippy and Tom, he's a little angry. I'm maybe sorry that Tippy I made the comparison. Well, Thanks, Keith, for for this Tippy, radio gold, by the way, by telling us to do that. Took a shower, Tippy Tom. There'd be a blizzard out here. What? I got it. I understand. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> I understand. Unless uh, you got a shower here, when you pick him up again, you give him a shower. Tippy rarely, rarely showers. Rarely he really showers, smells right. badly. He's a like stinking that. sissy bum. Where? He's a smelly sissy bum. Yeah, where do you get to you take care of yourself? Don't curse. Where, 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 right. where do I? Yeah, where do you get to take care of yourself? Like showers or. You go down to Bleecker Street. They go to the church every one, uh, twice a week. You get different clothes. Yeah. Take a shower. You just need a little motivation. You know, Tippy Tom doesn't do anything. See, I take the train down there. Oh, you do? You're very coherent. Like, like, like if you stop drinking, when you be, you you can straighten it all out, but you just don't want to stop drinking. I'll never stop drinking. You no. don't want to? Is there something in you that makes you want to stop? Nope. What is Fair the enough? drinking? What does the drinking do? It just makes you feel better? You don't you don't pay no mind to people. Yeah. yeah. You like forget you about your problems. Him him. Yeah, you forget like about your me, problems. Me, I was being friendly to you. I was being friendly too. I just made an observation. No, you were calling him Tippy Tom. I was really. I just in. made an observation. That's all. I didn't, I didn't say he did what Tippy Tom did. I, I, I all I'm I'm just very I'm jealous of his finishing move that he did on the Iron Sheik. <laughs> 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 uh, Red just came out of the hospital, actually, and he found out the other day that he has cancer, and the doctor Aww. told him to stop drinking, and he's like, I'm not, I'm not. What, stopping. liver? Uh, pancreas? Lung? Lung, did Lung you, cancer? Did, did you smoke? I still smoke and drink. I'm going to die. I'm going to oh, die with a, a drink and a You cigarette. smoke still, right? I'm going to still smoke. With the lung cancer. Wow. You're a trooper. Screw that cancer, right? Just keep smoking. How uh, did he did he give you any time? How much time you got left? Oh, I got time. It's it's not bad, but they already clipped it off my lung. Hey, good luck, bro. That's I what I say. A lot of medication oh, at night. That's what I like so. to say. Oh, medication? Does it give you a little buzz or in interact with the booze at all? I don't take it in the daytime. Only. Oh, you don't. At night, where does it put sleep. you out? Where yeah. do you sleep? Where do I sleep? Yeah, on Thirtieth Street. Yeah, okay, got a little place. Uh, I got a little room. I, the owner gave me a refrigerator, gave me a bed, gave me Ooh. a TV, gave me a stereo. Hey, right on, man. New clothes. Very yeah. cool. All right. Been there for last year. You're living pretty good then. I just like hanging out in Penn Station and bust people's chops. Doing some jobs. You got a little cash in your pocket. You got your beers. This is almost... You're doing uh, all right. It almost seems like I want to... He has a fun life. Yeah. Would you guys let me hang out there? Like, or, like you don't no, have you're to do fat. anything. I'm too, too fat. Oh, Tell us. damn. No heat. Oh, dang. man. <laughs> oh, man. Tippy 2 just called me <laughs> too fat. Hey, are we going to have a problem if you go on the homeless That's shopping so spree true. with Tippy Tom? <laughs> oh, no. Huh? You're going with him. Huh? I ain't going with him. Well, well not with him. But... Not with him, but we're going to have a whole bus, and you're going to be on the bus with Tippy Tom as we send you to a mall to do some shopping. We're going to have a, a problem with we'll, that. We'll give oh, you no, some money. As long as he stays on one end, I'll stay on the other end. Yeah, all that's right. all. All right, he'll... Because uh, he might 
Try to suck somebody's dick. Up. He's homeless. <laughs> he's homeless phobic. <laughs> I like Big Red. He's, he's homeless phobic. <laughs> he's like, homeless phobic. <laughs> all right, all right, Big Red. All right, we, Big Red we dumped rules. out enough. But I, I uh, just Big said, Red rules. He basically said, as long as Timmy Tom stays on his side of the bus, because he, he would most likely uh, 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 to another homeless guy. Yeah. We got to dump out. But hey, Big Red, we like you. Yeah, you're all right, Big Red. You're all right. I speak the truth. All right, we're going to see Certainly you on the homeless does. shopping spree a week from tomorrow, all right? Keith will we'll give you all the details. All right, Keith knows where to find you. Keith is yeah, great at getting you guys all together for the homeless shopping spree. Can I Real say quick, I'm at Carol last night? So, all right, yeah, what? Real quick, something new this year since we're back on uh, Terrestrial Radio. I've been in negotiation with WYSP down in Philadelphia, and we're actually importing... <laughs> a homeless man from Philadelphia to participate on the homeless shop. Wow. Hey, that's yeah. pretty cool. A Philly homeless guy. Yeah. Nice. That's so very cool. If he wants to stay here in New York, he can stay. If, yeah. If Big Red, you want to go down to Philly? We no, gotta... no, no, no. All right. Can I plug a show Red being that I'm a guy that has a house? Yeah, Patrice O'Neill <laughs> needs to pay his mortgage, so go to Caroline. <laughs> hey, Keith wants to take Big Red home. Are we done with him? Big uh, Red's been hanging all morning. He's going to be part of the homeless shopping spree a week from tomorrow. He's a tippy Tom lookalike, but if you say that to him, he gets really, really pissed yeah, he gets off. Yeah, Because he doesn't want uh, people to think that he sucks cock. <laughs> yeah, we ought to get him in here so he can uh, say goodbye at least. Uh. Say goodbye, and and you know he's not going to get dumped out of. All right. Uh, we got a mic for him. Yeah, got a seat right there. What's up, Big Red? Yeah, that's what you better say. I can hear you outside. Oh, oh really? Oh, I know he can hear us. He really wants to try you, nigga. Then what's up? I'm just he staying wants to try you. He wants You're to try you. You're digging the Guinness, my friend. You like the Guinness? Yeah, it ain't good. Yeah, Guinness is what, good what's stuff. What's your favorite beer, uh, Big Red? What was it? Bud. Oh. King, King of, of beers. beers. What? Oh, Budweiser what King of Beers. you think that nigga knows the yeah. fucking... You think he's seen the commercial? <laughs> <laughs> he knows what King of Beers is. He don't know what no hey, fucking Big King Red, of Beers Hey, Big Red, he's insulting you. <laughs> No, nope. I, I didn't say he looked like Tippy Tom. What? I, when I catch him outside being a bully, I'm not. I hit him with a two by four. No, oh, yeah, is that what you, you do? He's going police? back to Hacksaw Jim Duggan reference. This guy, yeah, well, he's yeah. with it. He he's got... only, he's only one not drink from being good again. It's like, why yeah, don't you just so stop close. fucking drinking, man? Why don't you stop gaining fucking weight? I, I'm <laughs> trying, you motherfucker. But you, you ain't trying. All right, let's do this. Let's you ain't the fucking deal. tried nothing. Let's, do, let's go to deal. McDonald's, I guarantee you. And first of all, I don't appreciate how a homeless man can cross his legs with such dignifying elegance. <laughs> yeah, because you're here. Because I can't you know why? Hold on, hold on. I want to hear this guy. Go ahead. You know why? What? Because I bet you your asshole is open as a motherfucking tippy tom. No, nigga. What the, you got your mind? How do you know? Pull your pants down. We can find I, do, I do know. <laughs> Why don't you pull his pants down? <laughs> He's really good. I'm just saying, dude, you're only a second from being not who you are. I'm a good guy. I know you're a good guy, but it's Go like... down to Penn Station, every cop will tell you, don't fuck with me, because I'll knock you right down the escalator. Yeah, but you don't... don't see, f- if I knock you down the escalator, you bounce and break the fucking escalator. See, he's giving you a compliment, though, bro. Yeah, he's saying I mean... He's saying you are, like, so close <laughs> to not being a homeless guy. You're this close to, like, yeah. having a life and a family and a house and, you know... Fuck all that shit. I don't need it. You don't oh, need it. I need the drink. No, nah, man. You don't need that shit, Is man. that drink going to be there bedside with you? Yeah, come on, When, dude. When maybe, you know, the, the lung cancer really kicks in, you know, saying yeah, goodbye. Yeah, the, the boys are going to bring up the vodka and the beer. <laughs> oh, okay. Then fuck it. <laughs> the boys. Yeah, how are you going to find them? Well, everybody got cell phones. Man. You got family plan on <laughs> no, your fucking <laughs> sprint. That's what I'm saying, man. He's my, that You're living a life that... He's not no motherfucker. He don't have that all that bullshit mental disease. He just ha- he's just choosing. Yeah. You just, you're just choosing to drink. You're just choosing it, man. It's like you're a sharp you ever, you ever try to you ever try to not drink? Nope. You never try to go through but, okay, AA. But okay, why or though? Like why that? are you so defiantly like when you say I'm a fat motherfucker? You tell me to go to AA. I'll stay there one day till yeah. I get the shakes off and I'm, I, I sign out. And then back to more more drinking. Go to the first bodega or look liquor store. Axel, why though? Axel. You look a little bit like Hassel Jim Duggan. No, no, no. Listen, why though? Like, I, like when you say you're a fat guy to me, right? I don't like. I'm, it's hard. But I, if you say, listen, don't eat pork and shit. I don't want to eat pork. It's hard not to. But I'm not just gonna go suck my dick. I'm eating pork. I'm gonna kill myself. Why you just? Why do you want to kill yourself? What happened? I didn't die yet. 
You like you ready for who the fuck says I got lung cancer? Yippee! I don't care I, as long as I die with a cigarette in my hand and a box. Why do you want to do that though? I really live my. And a matter of fact, why? So if you, why do you continue to just like struggle on if you want to die? I'm not struggling. Well, the homeless life seems a little tough. And he's not, smart not to enough. Him. He's smart enough to have double talking answers too. Yeah, yeah. That's just, you know what I'm saying? Like. He's the double talker, you, you know, when the psychiatrist tries to get in his head, he's like, blah, 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 blah. and then it's like, they just go, fuck it, dude. You can, I, you can see it. He's a fucking smart dude, but you just accepted this beer shit. Like, why? Why is all I'm asking? Yeah, why? Why? Is it, why is a crooked letter and can't be straight? That, see, what? He, why is a crooked he's, letter can't be he's straight? He's saying what he is is what he is. It is like, what it is. It's like asking an alligator, why'd you bite that fucking warthog to the head enough, off? Fair enough. Fair enough. The that's guy the case, is what he is. It so, is what it is. So I, big I, I'll go with that. Big big go with you that. don't have a story or anything. You just decide you like drinking and that's it. You're not hiding anything. You're not like trying to uh, drink away some, some pain from no, your, I'm from not, the past. Of course there's fucking pain. Gotta be. Every time I put that fucking that powdered donut near my mouth, what do you think? There's no pain in it? They're covering up something. Something's going on? I, I, I yep. enjoy myself by myself. When you see me this morning, who was with me? Nobody but the garbage can and my bottle of my can of beer. You had a good life growing up with the, the folks and all that? Hey, could oh, you get yeah, that guy? I had good lives, but... Is that a guy? The garbage can? Can we get yeah. him for the homeless shopping spree? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was a buddy of yours. Call him the garbage can. But that's what I see. He does look a little like Oscar the Grouch, too. Like, yeah, doesn't it just come out? Rrr, rrr, pop rrr, out rrr, rrr, just rrr, rrr. all... Rrr. Sound a little like Quint. I'm like Big Quint. Fuck you. <laughs> Here's the swimming with bow-legged women. Yeah, hey, you got a little... There you go, big Chief. That's Try right. some of this. Made it myself. Pretty good stuff. <laughs> Show no. me the way. He Don't has, forget your rubbers. He has yeah. yellow eyes. <laughs> like Oaky Bar, Boston, <laughs> celebrating my third wife's demise. <laughs> yellow eyes like jaundice eyes <laughs> <laughs> that's good right big red that's a good yeah. impression right uh, well big all right. red hey uh, we got Bob Saget on the line a good friend of ours fucking Bob alright we're just about out of here but Danielle from Florida has something Danielle yeah it's Daniel but oh, hey Daniel. Uh, alright what's up Daniel hey not much uh, I just wanted to ask Tippy Tom what he plans on getting uh, during the homeless shopping spree you know what you're gonna get oh hold on can we turn on his mic Oh, my dear sweet Lord. Oh, my God. Uh, Daniel, uh, uh, he did not hear that, so you want to say it again? Yeah, hey, Tippy Tom, what's up, man? I'm not fucking Tippy Tom. Who the fuck are you? I'm Daniel. Hey, Tippy Tom, what I'm are you a... getting uh, during the homeless shopping spree? I'm going to get you a fucking dildo to stick up your ass. <laughs> Thanks. But uh, what do you plan on getting? Come on. I know there's one thing you got your eye on. Not you, that's for damn sure. Hey, look. <laughs> Like I said, uh, for the people calling in to talk to Big Red, this is serious. He doesn't want to be called Tippy yeah, Tom. Yeah, he doesn't want to be called All Tippy right. Tom. He's not Tippy right. Tom. He's not Tippy so, Tom. Uh, Daniel, so you're calling in to ask him questions and serious questions only. Right. Uh, you know, he's not Tippy Tom. He's not Tippy Tom. All right. So please, you know, okay. we're, we're starting to promote the uh, homeless shopping mm -hmm. spree with Big Red, and he does not want to be confused for uh, for Tippy. Big Red, you know what that's about? The whole uh, shopping spree thing? Yeah. We take you to the mall. Yeah. We toss you some cash, and you go shopping and get yourself some good stuff. Yeah. And Tippy Tom better be on the other side. Yeah, you don't worry about that. You don't want him too close to you, right? I don't blame you, sir. What do you got, the hospital uh, <laughs> wristband on? I see you got the hospital wristband on. Yeah, what's up on? Uh, yeah, it's got to stay there. Uh, oh, you got to go back? Yeah. Yeah. What are they going to do about that? Are they going to operate on you? I don't know yet. Oh, they did tests? Yeah, I got to See how bad it is? 28. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, you got to go back? Yeah. That's a drag. What are you going to do? Speaking of drag, how about a cigarette? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. What do you smoke? Non-filters? Lucky. Uh, anything. You got a cigarette? I'm dying for one. Yeah, you certainly are, huh? You yeah. know, Big Red, you look like Santa Claus that just came out the chimney. <laughs> hey, Big Red. <laughs> Big Red. I'm going to tell you something, you fat fuck. <laughs> 
What the fuck do you think you look like with that fucking nose over there? Oh, shit. <laughs> Feisty. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. You look like you got a pug nose. Oh, shit. Hey, Michael Richards. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, uh. What does it mean? <laughs> a lot of people want to talk to Big Feisty. Red about the homeless shopping spree, which is going down a week from uh, Saturday. The All right. phones have exploded. We want to get to know uh, Big Red. Dave from Georgia. Go ahead. Hey, uh, Tippy Tom, I'm going to be up I got your Tippy Tom between my legs. Also, uh, just uh, wondering, maybe you want to, like, run off to the bathroom. Maybe you can earn a few extra bucks. Why don't you, you come over to New York and I'll see you. Oh. All right. Uh, wow, wow, that was obviously uh, a prank. Uh, Mike in Jersey, you got a question for, for Big Red. Hey there, big Tippy Tom. How you I doing? I got your this fucking Tippy Tom. Come I'm on. I'm wondering in. if you'd like me to, uh, you want me to buy you some lunch today? You sound like you're kind of hungry. I always like buying uh, Tippy Tom some lunch. You hungry? No, I'm not hungry. You go buy Tippy Tom. Come on. Tom. I, I judge like a mouthful of real human food. I'll give you some fucking, I wouldn't trust none of you fuck. Come on. All right, let's go to Mike in Jersey. Uh, Mike, got a question for uh, our our homeless guy here? Uh, more a statement. I just think it's great that, you know, Tippy Tom comes out of the closet and he's really representing all the gay homeless out there. I mean, you're fucking gay. You're just, you're just a strong man, Tippy Tom. You, and, you, know, you sound gay. fucking gay. You should go see Tippy Tom. Tippy Tom, you know, just I, I just want to see the homeless hopping spree, you know, sucking some cock for all gay men. You come, you come, Be proud. Be come, proud. You come where I can have that fucking butcher knife wait for you. All right, Ron in New Jersey. Ron? Hey, I heard Tippy Tom was in there. No, your sister is. <laughs> hey, hey, remember that time I gave you a dollar on the quarter? You didn't give me no dollar on the quarter. I want that back. Come over and get it. All right, let's uh, say hi to Will in Pennsylvania. Will, yes? Hey, hey. I want to ask Tippy Tom. That's a great Colin Quinn impression. You sound like a Puerto Rican. <laughs> he said it's a great Colin, great Colin Quinn impression. <laughs> he said he sounds like a Puerto Rican. God. The fucking whitest guy you ever met, you ass. Well, why don't you come over here and show me what you look like where I beat your ass. Oh. All right. Wow, well, a lot yeah, of people Big calling Red. in. Big Red's hey, a tough bastard, man. He ain't fucking around. You're a tough old I like, bastard. I, I like that. He ain't fucking around. Why don't we say hi to Pat in Boston? Pat, what's up? <clears throat> hey, Golden Bond. What do you think about that Grey Wolf song? Nothing. Nothing on that. Yeah, you got fuck nothing. Fuck the first game. one failed. He goes, life. yeah, fuck off. Adam in Jersey, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Tippy, why don't you do the fucking world a favor and go fucking kill yourself? Why don't you come over and try to do it, you fucking faggot? Motherfucker. <laughs> come over and try to do it, faggot. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Well, well, he's, like, he's like an angry, dirty Chris Kringle. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, don't we go to, why don't we go to Don the Trucker? There's, there's a theme here. It's a little strange. Yes, Don. What's up? Uh, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Uh, I just wanted to ask Tip. Good morning. Uh, I just wanted to ask Tippy Tom. Is he going to buy any gifts for his uh, family? I'll buy uh, you a fucking gift? dildo, you <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's go to Steve in Connecticut. Steve. Wow. Hey, Tippy Tom. Hey, how's your mother? <laughs> this guy's great. Hold on. Let's oh, get. Cool. Steve has a question. Steve, go ahead. Start over there. Hey, Tippy Tom, what was left of your, your mouth? As your mother. As your mother, she should know. You like sucking cock, you fucking faggot? Well, come over here and say that to my face, you fucking little faggot. <laughs> he, he fucking got, he got to that guy right away. Oh, yeah. Fucking big red ain't fucking around. He's no. your mother. Oh, my mom. Let's go to Chris in Boston. Chris? Hey, Tippy Tom. As your mother. <laughs> I want to know where you got the name Golden Buns. I, you should know. You get fucked in the buns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, we're wrapping up here. Terry in Georgia. Yes, Terry. Hey, I want we can get a tippy to sing for us this morning. Come and suck my dick and I'll sing. <laughs> uh, not, not a I'm a singer. <laughs> Let's go to uh, creepy cold guy. Creepy cold guy. Good morning, shit dicks. Hey. Did Tippy Tom like syrup or jelly when he's tossing that salad? Why don't you come over here and find out? <laughs> and when you bend over, you get something nice up your ass. Ooh. <laughs> you must like it if you know how to do that good. All right. Uh, well, Big go. Red. Big Red, we'll see you uh, yep. next Saturday for the homeless next shop. Saturday, Saturday. we'll take you, take you guys shopping. Anything you need? Enough. 
Yeah, anything, that's enough, Big Red. Anything you need uh, that you're going to get when uh, you go shopping? I'm going to get pants, pants and, like... Pants, just some clothes? Pants. Yeah, just clothes. Maybe okay. a jacket, nice yeah. warm jacket or something? All right. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Good and, deal. All right, no we'll problem. We'll see you then. You're a, you're a good guy. All right. You're a pretty funny motherfucker, I got to tell you. <laughs> yeah, you're all right. Take care of him. Make sure he loses weight. <laughs> all right. Still Next time I come back, I, I want to see him that big. Because <laughs> you know, I don't want to call him the bully, the fat boy. <laughs> call him, hey, man, you look skinny now. You look you look like a human being. <laughs> Instead of a pit bull. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you can't call him a German Shepherd. He's a little bigger than a German Shepherd. <laughs> don't call him a pit bull. <laughs> You're starting to be shaped like a can of beer. <laughs> I got them out there. I got six of them. I'm going to have a drink on the way back. <laughs> I'll have one for you, too. Oh, man. All right, Big I drink a lot of beer, and I don't have a belly like that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at you. Do you wear a girl? You, you are Santa come... Claus and Rudolph, because your nose is just... Get over your Stevie. Hey, I put a little shoe polish on me. I look like you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew he'd get there. Oh, I knew it wouldn't take long. Don't you have any homeless black friends? In... I've got a bunch of them. I work with them. You work? For, what do you mean you work? Yeah, we do the papers at night. We do. We drop oh, that's them right. Off. Jesus. No, okay. Wow. We don't get no money until on, on Saturday. We're going to have to ban a, him from the station with that a, kind of Michael Richards. Uh, he's a renaissance man. I got I to gotta go. I got to <laughs> know what I got to do. Uh, what do you got? I got to go to the newsstand when they drop me up, and I got to ask them about a bottle of black shoe polish. <laughs> all right. No. He really is a <laughs> big ride. We're going to see you in a he week, really man. He's a bottle right. of all seasons. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'll be, I'm going to play Santa Claus. The 24th. Oh, God. Yeah. Why are you going to play Santa Claus? Yeah, for Macy's. Oh, yeah? I do it every year. You play Th Santa you every like year? Santa. No, they dye my hair. They dye my beard. Are you kidding? No. No, I don't think he is kidding. And you play uh, Santa Claus. I go, I go to Macy's all the time. I walk through the building all the time. They know who I am. I don't rob Chris me. Tinkle. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I go, like, if, if it's too cold out, yeah, yeah. <laughs> instead, <laughs> instead of staying in Penn Station, I take a walk to uh, Macy's, uh, walk around the building, look at the clothes. I, I don't rob them. Oh they all know God. me. No. This this guy plays Santa. That's and great. I, yeah, I'll be going down. I'll be going down. Right on. <clears throat> All right, Big Red. We'll see you next time. All right, Big Red. Wait. Good and, job. And Keith the cop. Thank you. Another yes. gem. Keith. Okay. Keith knows how to never pick disappoint. Oh, Big Red's an, an animal. Good. He really is an animal. Uh, Take care, there, Big so Red. Listen, you, you, we never got to have the... a good day, and I'll buy the black shoe pouch. Oh, Take no. care. You can't <laughs> stop with it. that. We get it. Take care, there, Big Red. My nose. When I come back here. All right, All right. Buy some <laughs> homeless bigot. Buy some non filter <laughs> cigarettes. Uh, I don't know. Great. Who knows? By the 16th, he might not be around. Oh, man. He's Jesus. Uh, we didn't do the tire.